Welcome to another episode, episode number 18. It's life, dude. I'm that dude. Welcome back, folks. How you guys doing? I'm hoping no matter where you are or what time it is, morning, noon, or night, you find yourself in the, in the best of life, love. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's episode. A little laid back today. Just trying to take it easy, you know? Just sitting back. I just came back from uh, the post office. Had to take care of some business there. Uh, you know how it is. Got to do a little run around, this, that, and the other. But, uh... I thank everybody for coming in and checking me out today and every other day, every other time that you guys stop in and, you know, to take a, take a look, see, see what's happening, see what's going on with this guy. Uh, yesterday was the proverbial uh, spending holiday. <laughs> That's what I call it. Because <laughs> everybody and their mother out there spending money, you know. When you can do this all year round, I don't, you know, we're we're caught in this this uh, perpetual loop, which is baffling to me. And you know, everybody's doing the same thing. This is not living. This is just, you know, us running on this freaking ferret wheel. But anyway, let me not get into this rant. Um, I just like to say thank everybody for coming in and checking us out and seeing what it is that we do here. Uh, yesterday I was showing you uh, some music. I figured I'd give you pieces of uh, what it is that we like to do, you know, that I love to do. And uh, giving you some of the history of the music. We played a few songs. Uh, we played um, uh, Troubled Mind, Troubled World. We played, uh, what else did we play? Feel So Good Today with the little one we played uh we played a few songs yesterday for you guys and uh, i hope you in enjoyed them uh, as much as i did listening to them um uh there's a story that i wanted to tell um i'm just trying to get back into that mind frame of uh where it was is about my father of course and uh because we're leading up into those upcoming months, and I I want to get back on track here. Um, you guys already heard the story of how the song uh, uh, "Life" came about. Uh, my nephew, uh, 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 the ghost, and and uh, and uh, our R and B singer, which is. My nephew's cousin, by the way, the ghost's nephew. Um, those guys did a very, very, very good job on that production. I mean, and that was one of my, one of my, another one of my songs that I was most proud of on that production there, um, uh, Life. Uh, that's why this page is called what it is, because, you know, you know, because of my dad. Yeah, that's life. You know, it's life, dude. So he didn't say it's life, dude. I added the dude. My dad just said it's life. Yeah, it's life, you know. And you know that's he he kept it real all the time, you know, whether you liked it or not, raw and uncut. <laughs> that man could curse you out like nobody's business. He'd make you feel bad about yourself. I'd never heard nobody cuss somebody out as bad as he cursed people out. I'm like, wow, wow. I mean, I mean it angry and nasty i'm like wow wow when he got really mad at somebody oh man um words that i <laughs> words you're ashamed to hear and and, and ashamed to say oh my god <laughs> woo he woo woo when he got real mad you knew he was tight okay he was you knew he was real tight i mean that man loved hard and he played hard 
But when he got mad, he got mad hard. <laughs> I'm glad I was not on the other side of that. You know, I was never on the other side of that ugliness. That whew, I'm so glad. I am so glad because I, I, I probably would have ran away and never came back. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, Pop was something else. Pop was something else. Yes, ma'am. Yes. And uh, and I told you he was raised in uh, North Carolina. Um, and he was a a the son of a sharecropper. And my grandfather, he was, uh, you know, like I said, the son of sharecroppers as well. But, you know, I gave you guys the history of that already. But, yeah. So, you know, I, I was just I just wanted to tell, you know, that part of the story because uh, he was funny. He was funny. Sometimes he just, you know, like lose his daggone mind. We would do we we. I worked with him, like I said, uh, and uh, we we started doing this uh, irrigation, uh, water sprinkler uh, type stuff, and uh, he was really good at it. He would he would do he would he would have he would lay out the lines. I would dig the uh, and we did it by hand. We didn't we didn't have a machine. I would dig um, the, the the trench for the pipes for each pipe, and and he would lay out the zones. Then I would go back and wire the electronic sprinkler system for him and he knew which zone that he, you know where he wanted it done and uh he he was really good at that i mean he he knew how far the water was supposed was supposed to go you know he knew and the thing is he, he for someone who couldn't read he 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 knew that i'm like how did he know how to do this you know the only part he didn't know was the was the uh how to uh wire everything that was my job I, I i wired everything up for him and 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 he would tell me where he wanted the zones set how he wanted it set you know i would set the clock i would set the zones um wire the system and he would just have everything laid out to where he wanted it and i would also dig the the trenches for him as he's um creating where he wants each sprinkler system to go on whatever property we were working and uh uh, I'm not doing that now, uh, um, because I, I I was not ever good at how is like him uh, as far as uh, laying everything out for the distance. I mean, he had those things perfect. I don't I don't know how he did it, but he did it. I mean, again, that man was a he was a mad scientist. <laughs> he was a weird mad scientist. <laughs> I'm telling you, and and the the people loved his work. They they really loved his work. Um, it was crazy. I met a lot of his friends and, and a lot of good people um, through my dad like that out here. But uh, yeah, hardworking dude, hardworking guy. He he was he was he was a different kind of cat. I mean, he was different for real, for real. I mean, to the point where you know, uh, I I don't think he's ever had. I didn't ever see an enemy that he had. I always seen people around him all the time. You know, the people just loved being around him. I don't, I, it was weird. He was like a magnet and he drew people in. It was, it was, you know, and I couldn't tolerate that many different people all the time, but he could, he was a, he, he I mean, yes, I'm a people person, but not, not half the people person my dad was. He, he drew people in like nobody's business. I mean, people just loved to be around him, you know, you know, this, it was, it was, it was different, it, you know. I, I've, you know, like I said, I didn't meet him till I was twenty-five. But that was one of the first things that I noticed was people always around him all the time, you know. You know, uh, one of <laughs> one of his sayings that I remember, because uh, like I said, he had a lot of them. He's like, he, 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 I said, why do you keep so many people around you, your pop? He's, he's, he said, uh, it, and he ended up saying. Uh, get a you don't want to fatten a frog for the snakes. Um, but I forgot how the conversation went about where he said that, but that was one of the sayings that he said when when I asked him about different different people don't you know he was like you don't want to fatten up the frog for the snakes or or I can't remember how that went I was trying to remember how that how that whole thing went. Um, it'll come to me it'll come to me and I will get back to that but. That was one of the sayings he used to say, don't fatten up the frog for the snakes. 
you know. <laughs> uh, he had a lot of them. He had a, he had a lot of them. Bullfrog told the skunk, get back off my hump. That was a territory thing. Fatten up the frog for the snakes. Oh, beware who you keep around. Beware who you keep around. You know, you don't want to keep certain folks around around your house or your, or your woman. Because you don't want to fatten up the snuck frogs for the snake. Uh, don't fatten up the frog for the snakes kind of thing. I was like, wow. Wow. That, I never forgot that, you know. But I never like to bring a whole bunch of people around, you know, like homeboys around my house or my woman because I, I don't play that. No, sir, never did. That was just me. Didn't have anything to do with my dad. That was just me because, uh, you know, I, the way I the way I was raised upstate New York, you you seen who the dogs and the and the hyenas was, you know, because you know, if they they seen a woman that they wanted to go after, they didn't care who she was or or whatever. You have to you have to you know you have to defend you what is yours on a daily basis growing up up there, and you know you got to stand your ground and you better mean it because they'll run right over you and take everything you got. Trust me, and. uh that's one thing you know we we grew up with this we grew up with this uh this this thing you know uh respect you know that's one thing i i can't tolerate disrespect i really can't i really 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 can't i try hard you know to 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 keep myself you know uh for me i have to i have to uh subdue uh any kind of uh uh hairpin trigger reaction that i might have off something because once it starts i can't stop it so i try not to even go there and and to a fault almost to where it's almost like unhealthy because you know i, I just don't want to stop I'm, I'm afraid of that side you know been there done that ain't gonna do it again that, that i'm no. Uh, so I, I try to keep anger issues far away from me because I no 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 <laughs> it's not a good look trust me so I, I you know I don't I, I try not to get angry like that because you know I think when I was young I had uh, anger issues when I was a kid as an adult not so much because uh, my mom she was uh, pinnacle in you know helping me to harness. A, a different mindset uh as far as controlling oneself you know uh you know you know well i would get so upset you know if i had to fight somebody and we had to fight we had to fight all the time uh when i was younger you know like i said we had to fight all the time coming up you know it was it was a whole different it was a whole different uh way of 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 living to me because you know we were just different because like i said you know growing up as a witness you're different anyway right off the back you're not you don't do the normal things everybody else do so you know you stick out like a, a sore thumb and that made in, in our neighborhood that made us you know pretty much me well made me a target point blank and period right off the bat made me a target because you know one i'm the oldest i gotta protect my brothers and sisters and and if you're if you're a military child, you know what that is when you have a uh, 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 a strict military person in your household, and and you're the oldest. There is the stuff rolls downhill kind of thing. <laughs> you know, there's 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 if 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 something happens in that household and pops not home, then I'm the next in line. And if I didn't take care of whatever situation that was, then that that was all on me and i would like he said the stuff rolls downhill so i wasn't trying to get in any kind of trouble so i had to handle whatever i had to handle many times many fights many situations i didn't want to find myself into but was always in the middle of some always because there was always somebody out there testing us testing us testing us testing us that's the way it was growing up but it 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 made you um it made you a tough person. It made you a better person because you had to deal and navigate through all of that, no matter where you were. And, you know, these days, you know, kids don't experience any of that. They, I mean, man, softer than wet tissue paper. <laughs> <laughs> I 
That's how soft these kids are these days. It's crazy, you know. But uh, they do they have no idea, you know. Uh, uh, because my, my fear is when they come up, you know, when real life smacks them in the face, how they gonna handle it? Because, you know, they're 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 over sheltered. Uh, they get rewarded for doing nothing. It's crazy. It, I've never seen anything like this. This is bizarre to me, you know. But uh, I just wish that you know there was more solid you know black men in the in the household with a lot of these kids as as they come up because you know in the seventies eighties you know sixties seventies on eighties you know and you know we we watched the you know black men if they didn't have jobs they ended up in jail then the crack thing came and then you know all those guys who didn't have jobs because they couldn't get jobs they they ended up going to that to feed their families you know and 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 try to do better you know, and the way the system had everything and everyone, you know, there was so many single mothers there. Couldn't have the father in the house because, you know, it, it, a lot of them was on the system. And then if he couldn't have the father in the house, then the money, you know, he didn't have any money. We, we, he, that crack thing came. Man, so many people went to jail. I've seen so many people go to jail. I've seen so many people lose their lives. It, 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 I mean, during that whole era, you, 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 you know, looking back at it, you could see that it was a systematic attack. It, it, it that's the way it felt, you know, at looking back, because if, if the way you see that, you know, the, the, the black families, at least in our neighborhood, and that there was hundreds of thousands of neighborhoods that went through that, those, 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 you know, fatherless households. And then now you got these kids coming up who weren't in a solid situation. I was lucky. I, I got to say I was lucky. We, Our dad was in the house. You know, my stepdad, he was, he, was, he was in the house. You know, he had a job. He worked, you know, for, for a minute. He didn't have a job, you know, for, you know, he struggled for a little while being a Viet, Vietnam vet. He struggled. But uh, after, after he, he ended up with a decent job and, you know, it was a government job. He was doing fine, you know, but and and he avoided that 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 crack thing. And I'm so happy because boy, 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 we could have ended up a whole different bunch of people. So I thank God for that. I thank God for that, and I thank God that He was there to 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 direct us, you know, and 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 you know, show us what manhood was about because. We could have been a whole bunch of different people and dead or in jail or in prison. So, you know, so much stuff could have happened. So, you know, and part of the, you know, this music thing is because, you know, mom bought me them drums. Mama bought me drums. At the age of 13, mama bought me drums. And that's when the music thing can be gone. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. 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 It, it was a whole different time then. But getting back to my to my to my pops, you know, I'm coming up um, and his crazy sayings. Uh, uh, he used to say the craziest stuff. He, <laughs> I know I went way off left field, but uh, that's because I didn't write anything down. Uh, a lot of this is just me talking to you guys. Talking to you guys about, uh, you know, what it is. I don't know if that was recording me or not. Talking to you guys about, you know, what it is, you know, how I'm coming up and 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 you know, trying to navigate through this through this thing called life, you know, because it is life, dude. It is. And today, I just wanted to share some stuff with you, you know, come at you. And thank you for liking, subscribing, commenting. You know, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for for doing that. Um, I didn't play the music today. But uh, I think that's all right. I think that's all right. Just talking, you know, come out here and talk with you. Uh, right now, it's it's a little bit slow. Uh, and uh don't have too much going on right now. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy what it is and what we're trying to do. And, and soon we got to get up out of this studio and go do some interviews with some folks. Uh I'm about to play something. I think I played this for you once before, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, I think I did. That was called The Exclusive. That was a song I was looking for for a long time. I couldn't find it. Uh, the Ghosts used to love this song. We never. This is one of the ones we never. Yeah, this is one of the ones we never did nothing with. Yeah. I just needed something in the background, you know what I mean? Something to help my mind just start mellowing out for this morning. Because it is the day after, you know, what they call Christmas. And uh, last night, the missus cooked a, uh, this beef. It was so good. Oh, it was so nice. You know, I enjoyed it. Yep. So uh, I'm still, you know, I need some um, input on what you guys think it is that uh, once we hit that thousand subscribers, how I could uh, give back and uh, do some kind of giveaway. That would be nice, right? So, you know, if you got some ideas, let me know. Uh, right now, we're moving kind of slow, but, you know, that's growth. But I think we'll start doing a lot better once I... Uh, start putting more videos up of my band because I got a lot more of those coming. Can I get a bass line? There it goes. That's what I like. Yeah. Huh. I like that. I like it so much. It's different. You guys tell me what you think about it. Huh? Tell me what you think about this song right here. I know I played it before, but I can't help it. I like it. I made this song in Logic, one of the music programs I uh, I have. Yep. Hey yo, it's smooth as I wanna be, as crazy as I am. Just give me the microphone so I could rock this jam. Be the brother, ain't no other who could be like me. When it come to getting down and rocking to this thing, let me do what I do, how I does it, does it for real. Let me tell you right now, cause I could be the man of steel. Harder than ever, I know that I'm fed up. But hold up, cause you know some suckers out there just fed up with the things that I do, how I does it. Told you once before. Check it, cuz I know they be knocking at the door to try and understand this mind of mine, but they can't because you know I'm one of a kind. Come on. Whoa! <laughs> I love this beat. Uh. Yeah. 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 Wow. What do you guys think about that song right there, huh? The ghost named it the exclusive, but I don't know. I don't know why. You know, I I think it should be called something else. I called it that uh, Eastern chant. That's what I called it, but he called it the exclusive. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, he would also. He, he used to get on my nerves. 
because they would they would name my song something else, something different other than what I would name it. I, we didn't we didn't like argue about this, but for some reason I, I would I I would name songs because I needed to name them so I could find them again, and I would also put a date on them, <clears throat> a date stamp them, and then that's 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 how I would find it. But then he would confuse the heck out of me because he would say. Yo, what's that? Uh, go back and find this song and the, this song and that song. I'm like, what are you talking about? Because he would name it something else. He would call it something else, and and he wouldn't say, oh, the exclusive or 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 the the Easter enchant. He would say the exclusive. He would call it the exclusive, and I'm I'm like, what? You talking about Easter enchant? He was like, yeah, that one. I guess that one. <laughs> it was just crazy. It, it, it was a weird dynamic. It was a weird dynamic, but we made it work. We made it work. We made it work. We, I wish we would did something with this song though, because it's 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 different. How many songs do I got? And there's so many songs I made in Logic. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna come out that program right now though. Let's exit Logic. I like working and I, I could navigate uh, Logic better than I could navigate in Pro Tools. Pro Tools was, it was so extensive, so much stuff. And um, I could navigate Logic like nobody's business um, because when I first started out, I started out uh, strictly on GarageBand. Uh, there was another, uh, there was another, uh, program that I used um, and that, that I could put videos with too. And I, I wish I had that, that program. Oh my goodness. I wish I had that program right now because I can edit so much, but I still got Final Cut Pro. So I guess I can still use that. Uh, there's this thing called Automator. I don't even know how to use that on here, but uh, iMovie, I got that and I got Final Cut. If I can find, if I can find Final Cut, I haven't seen that on here in a, in, a, in a minute. But I'd like to thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me today. Uh huh. You know, I'm just hanging out today. There's nothing, nothing too, uh, too crazy. I gotta have something decent for tomorrow because after, after tomorrow, after tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I'm working, and then. Uh, I need to start writing down see this book right here this is my ideas book and I am I need to start writing down what I want to do for my next upcoming episode right now I'm just sitting talking with you guys um, bringing the intro letting you get to understand the music my sound hopefully um, the premise of how I'm trying to you know make this go and and you know make this be you know it's me you know what I mean uh, before I forget, let's not have a fat glass of stupid with a bowl of idiot soup, okay? Let's uh, be mindful and and pay attention to what we're doing out there in the roads. Um, cutting people off is a big thing. I just seen that earlier today. Um, uh, it, they, they didn't cut me off. I, I witnessed someone cutting someone else off for no reason. I, it, it didn't make any sense. I mean... Why? I mean, what is the, there's no reason for it. You just jump in their way just because you figure you want to get into that space and, and be, you know, this selfish mindset is going to get people hurt. And, and we don't want to, you know, be in those situations. I don't want to see people hurt on the side of the road from where I can't, I, you know, I don't, that, that, that's not a good look at all for anybody. I don't want to see anybody out there hurt. So let's arrive alive. Let's not have a fat glass of stupid with a bowl of idiot soup and then a big cup of oh snap on the side. Let's not do that. Let's not do it. Okay, let's arrive alive. Enough of that. But uh, anyway, I'd like to thank you once again uh, for joining me. Uh, you know, it, it's, 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 it's pretty cool that you guys, uh, you know, stop in. And today was just, you know, me ranting 
uh, <laughs> I might even call the, this uh, episode the rant because I didn't have anything today. I ain't gonna lie. I, I just needed to make sure you guys saw me and and that and I'm here and and you know play a little little bit of something something um, um, melancholy mood. I guess maybe I don't know. I I think and I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm just laid back today. Uh, could be just because I'm hungry, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel a little goofy right now, but I appreciate you guys stopping in and checking a brother out, okay? To all of my people out there, I love you. I miss you. Can't wait to see you. All right. Like I said, we got people in Washington State. How y'all how y'all doing in Washington State? Okay. We got people in California. Hey guys, how you doing in California? We got people in North Carolina. Nope, I'm sorry. We got people in Florida. How y'all doing out there in Florida? You guys know who you are. I love and miss you guys. We got people in North Carolina. A whole lot of people in North Carolina. A whole lot of people in North Carolina. We got people in Connecticut. How y'all doing out there in Connecticut? Love and miss you guys. We got people in Virginia. How y'all doing? A lot of people out here in Virginia. Okay, we got people in, I said Connecticut, we got people in upstate New York, a whole lot of people up there, there in Virginia, uh, in, in upstate New York, so a lot of people up there, there in Virginia, I mean, there in upstate New York, got people in Virginia, got people in, and Carolina, people in Florida, people in, and Washington State. Uh, am I forgetting anybody? Oh, we got people in Texas. Got people in Texas. Okay, our 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 family is just huge and it's all spread out. Everybody's all over the place, which is unfortunate because it it's hard to get to go see anybody. Because you know, right now the money's funny, you know, and everybody's trying to recoup, and it's hard because things are so expensive. It's it, it's 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 you got to pay to burp now. <laughs> it's crazy anywho thank you guys thank you for joining my uh little shenanigans today i appreciate you and always remember and never forget it's life dude peace